Hello everyone and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So today we are going to discuss about phenetic and phylogenetic approach to identify microorganisms. Okay, so this is a topic from taxonomy and you may get a short note type of question on what are the phenetic or phylogenetic approaches that you can use to identify microorganisms. Okay, so that kind of question you can get and you can write answer like as follows. So first we will discuss what is phenetic approach. So here you just remember about determinative bacteriology. Okay. For example, the Burgess manual that we used for identification of microbes. Now phenetics is a way to classify organisms based on their similarities. Right. Usually in morphology or other observable traits regardless of their phylogeny or evolutionary relation. Right. So depending on the morphology, say the colony morphology that we observe or some biochemical tests that we perform. OK, so those are the some uh, observable traits. Now to analyze phenotypic data, numerical taxonomy is used. OK, and phenotypic approach. OK, phenetic is also termed as phenotypic approach. It helps to identify microorganisms. So phenetics is where we identify microorganism. OK, depending on the morphology and other observable traits. So most commonly Burgess manual of determinative bacteriology is used for this purpose. It is primarily designed for identification and not classification and nomenclature. OK, so identification, classification and nomenclature are separate terms in taxonomy, but they are interrelated. OK. But don't get confused here. Here we are just going to identify the isolate. OK, so it does not contain any descriptive information of the genera or species. So no information about the enrichment or the isolation of bacteria is given. But other information like the whether it is uh, gram positive or gram negative, what are the biochemical tests which it gives positive. OK, or the other morphology, colony morphology, for example. So that all information is given, but no information regarding the enrichment of that particular genera or species. Now this manual is totally based on morphological characters such as cell wall, oxygen requirement, motility, biological characters. OK, so for phenetics, remember Burgess manual of determinative bacteriology. Now there are four major categories of bacteria in this manual. First gram negative U bacteria, which has 16 major groups. So you can go back to your college and check the Burgess manual. You will find these four categories. OK, then comes gram positive. First is gram negative U bacteria. Then comes gram positive U bacteria, which has six major groups. And then comes mycoplasma. So mycoplasma is U bacteria, which lacks cell wall. Then archibacteria, which has five major groups. So it also provides detailed difference between U bacteria and archibacteria. OK, so that was about phenetic approach. Now we will move towards phylogenetic approach. So phylogenetic approach here comes the systematic bacteriology. OK, so you will or you are familiar with the Burgess manual of systematic bacteriology. That is the another book, but we generally don't use that while we are working in our labs and performing experiments. We are generally uh, referring to Burgess manual of determinative bacteriology, which is the phenetic approach. OK, so in case of phylogenetic approach or which is also termed as phyletic approach, organisms are grouped together based on the probable evolutionary relationship. OK, how the two organisms are related to each other by or by the process of evolution, how they are evolved. OK, what is the evolutionary relationship is what is studied. So phylogenetics, it compares data from genetic material that is DNA and gene products like RNA and proteins on classification group reflects genetic similarities and evolutionary relatedness. It is considered to be more powerful and it provides more realistic estimate. OK, now Burgess manual of systematic bacteriology is used for classifying unknown bacteria 
and based on 16s rRNA gene sequence. Okay, so you can see the gene product is been studied. Detailed information about genera and species is mentioned in systematic bacteriology book. For example, method for enrichment, isolation, and information pertaining to the nomenclature. This is all is given. So here, polyphasic approach is also used. Now, polyphasic approach is where phenetic that is morphology, genetic that is study of genetic material, and phylogenetic approach is used. Okay. So, phylo polyphasic approach is also used. So, there are two editions of Burgess Manual of Systematic Bacteriology. First edition, where system given in this edition is primarily phenetic and the manual comprise of four volumes dividing bacteria in 33 sections. It also provides a description of species like tests to distinguish between species, then DNA relatedness among organisms. The characteristics used to define sections are general shape, morphology, gram steading property, aerobic or anaerobic, then motility, presence of endospores, mode of energy production, etc. Okay, and the second edition is where molecular biology tools have unrevealed the RDNA, uh, sorry, rRNA, DNA, and protein sequences of large number of bacteria and made the phylogenetic studies more feasible and reliable. Okay, so in case of second edition, information regarding biological molecular tools is given that is uh, study of rRNA, then DNA, and protein sequences. This leads to publication of second edition. It has five volumes as follows, where bacteria are classified into characteristic sections. So first is archaea, cyanobacteria, green phototrophs, deeply branching genera. Then comes proteobacteria. Third is low GC gram-positive bacteria. Fourth is high GC gram-positive bacteria. And fifth is planktomycetes, spirochetes, fibrobacters, and bacteroids and fusobacteria. Okay, so this was about systemic bacteriology or phylogenetic approach. So there is difference between phenetic and phylogenetic approach and both are used for identification of microorganisms. Okay, so I hope the difference is clear, the concept is clear. So thank you for watching and do like, share and subscribe to my channel.